So upon the Kursk salient was the crew member of a PDRT, PTRD anti-tank rifle team responsible for the destruction of many German panzers in the entrenched defenses of the Kursk salient were Soviet infantry platoons employing the PTRD or PTRS anti-tank rifles. The figure shown here is wearing the new 1943 regulation Gymnastriorka and shoulder boards. So you can see the shoulder boards there on the shoulders. And the Gymnastriorka could be that that cummerbund or thing that's at a diagonal. Uh, I'm not sure. Don't know much about Russian military forces of World War II. But I've seen this. I've seen the PTRD with the muzzle brake and the sighting target sighter, the very long barrel, tripod, and grip, the other sighter, handle grip, trigger, bolt, shoulder brace. So she would probably buck like the boys' anti tank rifle. And um, these guys would fire at point blank range. So I'll go to uh, another example here. Although the image of Prokhorovka is one of a titanic clash between hordes of German and Soviet armor. There was also a vicious and bitter battle going on between the infantry of both sides with infantry teams stalking tanks. Here, a Soviet anti-tank rifle team fired panzers from the lee of a destroyed SS Panzer Corps Panther. At the close ranges which characterized the fighting at Prokhorovka, even anti-tank rifle ammunition could be lethal. So even um, with a 10 or... 14 or 15 millimeter uh, round they could probably penetrate some crease of armor or a suture point or something and you know kill a tank kill a Panzer 3 or um, Panzer 4 or Panther or a Tiger if possible So here's this um, destroyed panther, which is hard to imagine. You see this Soviet team with their PTRD ready to make another kill, a go for a kill. And here is a uh, another tanker team, a tanker team um, on a tiger. Another post-battle image, the, these Soviet tankers are no doubt discussing the Tiger they killed. The number of hits on the turret armor and the manner of its cracking illustrate the degree to which these tanks could absorb punishment. The shell that did the, the job looks to have been a 7.62 centimeter fired from a T-34 at close range. So these guys would get at point-blank range and they would make a kill shot. So that's the turret of a tiger. And here is a Churchill that bought the farm. So the British gave these to the Russians. The only heavy tanks that 5th Guards Army had available for the battle at Prokhorovka were 35 Lenley's Churchill Mark III's. These were given short shrift by the SS Panzer Corps. In common with much of the armor supplied by the Allies, they were profoundly disliked by Soviet tank crews for being much too slow and ha for having a weak main armament. Oh. Yeah, there is that. Well, at least the British tried. I think the uh, Russians would call these um, Iron Coffin of Three Fine Comrades, or however comrades were in a Churchill. said that about American Shermans and Grants too. 
So you can imagine the uh, PTRD crew stalking this and getting at close range, point blank range, say more, not more than five feet away. I don't know. Five feet. 50 feet, I mean, you'd have to, like, make a kill shot between the turret and the hull, if that's possible, or the sighting orifices in the front there, if you could shoot in there, or the visor, or into the machine gun aperture, you know, it's like, it's left to the imagination as to how you can kill a tiger with a PTRD, um, but I guess the Russians had the manpower. They had over a million, like a million and a half at Kursk. And that has been a Kursk production.